Well, you've asked the question. I'm going to give you the answer. Can an alternator battery car system be hooked up to a solar charge controller? The answer is yes, but you have to be extremely careful. I'm going to show you how. I've made up some jumper cables that I want to hook up to the battery here uh, in the car. And you don't want to hook it up to your solar power system yet. You don't want to put it to the solar inputs. Not yet. First thing you want to do is hook up these. And I've made two separate cables out of uh, extension cords. And you can hook up to the battery with the engine off. That's okay. That's where you want to start. So I've got the negative and positive hooked up at the battery system. And I'm going to unplug, well I've unplugged most all of my solar panels from the inputs, but I still have the solar pavilion. I have that still hooked up to the solar charger inputs, so solar charge controller inputs. And I'm going to disconnect those. And I've got these at the ready. This is uh, from the car battery and alternator. But you don't want to plug it in yet. You make sure you have all your inputs to the solar charge controller disconnected. You've got your battery power hooked up here with the cables but not connected at the solar inputs. Alright, then you want to turn your car on. All right, now you've got your alternator system working along with the battery and you can now hook it up to your solar charge controller inputs. No one has made this video on YouTube because it can be risky unless you follow these directions explicitly. Now, it's not something that I recommend that you do, but it does work. Right now we've got, I've, I've taken a little bit of the juice from the battery system. I've been running the air conditioner just to run it down a little bit. And right now you've got 3.2 amps coming in from the alternator battery system. I'm sorry, that's 32 degrees Celsius. 3.7 amps coming in from the car alternator battery system into the solar charge controller. It's coming into the solar panel inputs. I just hooked them up outside. You want to be sure you disconnect all of the solar panel inputs. Keep the battery power that's coming up to uh, the solar charge controller. You want to keep that hooked up. And there you go. 3.4 amps. I'm going to turn on the air conditioner. Oops. Using a 2000 watt inverter for that. And it pumps out nice cold AC. Got it on uh, low cool. And you can see that the, ch the uh, car alternator battery system has increased in amperage to 5.7 amps. That's not very much. The amount of current you're going to get from your car battery system, car alternator battery system, is what I would consider minimal compared to your solar panel inputs. Right now there's 12.2 volts uh, at the battery system. It's got a lot of draw on that inverter for power going to the air conditioner. And 6 amps from the car uh, battery alternator system is not enough to uh, run continual power or run this 
air conditioner continually all day it won't work it's not enough input amperage but let's say you had uh, a full day of use and you used up all your power uh, from the solar panels and the battery system and it's nighttime well you could hook up your car alternator battery system to the solar charge controller solar panel inputs well there you go I'm gonna hook up turn everything off using the car alternator battery charging system is about the equivalent of using a 2 to 6 amp battery charger disconnect it there first I'm going to turn off my car turn off the air conditioner and then I'm going to hook up all my solar panels so you can see what's going on this solar panel pavilion and big red power station have been in service for over three years now and it works great so I'm going to plug in the pavilion first just some fun facts for you techies out there as well as the curious the car alternator battery charging system operates at a maximum of 14.5 volts DC whereas the solar power panels operate at 18 volts DC and then plug in big red power station solar panels I got 200 watts right on there plus one that I can move around so 300 watts for big red and 300 watts on the pavilion Ohm's law dictates exactly how much current will be accepted into the big red powerhouse battery system the larger the difference between the supply voltage and the battery voltage will increase the current supplied to the batteries all right well I don't have direct sun on all of them yet it's still well it's getting to be around noon and I've got a nice clearing here but afternoon on is really good sunlight for this deep woods operation let's see what we have for power in now yeah about the same amount of power right now 6.3 amps that increases as the day goes on but you can see that the the system still works fine says I'm getting power in from the panels got a happy face on the battery 6.3 amps so that concludes this uh, test of car alternator battery systems hooked up to the solar charge controller I'm Chris with ATL solar Trek, reminding you it's easy once you know how Voila, finished. I could use a piece of trim right here. But that's looking pretty good. And boy, it's blown out icy cold AC. I've got one more trim piece I want to put out here too. Put it right here so you can't see my caulking job on the bottom. But that's looking pretty good. I just used materials here on the property. Be sure you use pressure treated if you if this is in the weather whatsoever or very good hardwood